Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 1st, 2023. Well, yesterday we had the market a little bit subdued. The bears got active early on, and then the bulls came back in in the afternoon, something that we have seen over and over and over this month. And, well, we had a little bit of damage early on in the day but they recovered a lot of that by the end of the day so what does that mean for today's market open well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video Top of the morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here i do truly appreciate it let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today well um as you've probably seen or heard uh, the house passed the debt ceiling um, resolution that goes on to the senate now where it's likely going to be changed again and then conferenced and maybe passed and then sent back to the house who knows what the process will actually be. Um, I know they're running an expedited process because they're running out of time. So just kind of keep in mind, there's going to be more, uh, you know, stories coming out and pontificating going on about um, the debt ceiling bill uh, to continue to pressure markets here and leave some uncertainty maybe even as we head into the weekend that said looking at uh, what we've got going here this morning we've got a little bit of relief coming in they're trying to pop up here first thing this morning uh, to get just a little bit going but as you can see in the chart here at the diamonds we're still underneath this downtrend and we're still uh, below price resistance in the chart so uh, the bounce back yesterday was great because what it did do is it held the 200 day moving average just like we did you know last week uh, we went down there and uh, kissed that 200 day and held it but we really didn't change anything by the end of the day we just kind of brought us back into flat and looking at what's going on this morning we're not super super excited just yet this morning just a little bit of bullishness on that debt ceiling deal uh, trying to trying to keep the market moving up and as a matter of fact we finished may with the only index uh, making gains during may was the qqq and the qqq had it not been for a handful of the tech giants that wouldn't have happened either so kind of an interesting month uh, to be sure now looking forward here if the bulls find inspiration today i'm going to look for a retest up into this area and if they're able to pass through there get past into that area i'm going to look to a little bit higher resistance area in the chart and unfortunately what that's going to do is it's going to put us if we get back up here it's going to put us right back into that chop zone that we got into in early april and we've pretty much spent most of may stuck in that range here on the diamond so let's watch that close if we look at our spy boy there is just nothing bearish about the spy at all it's very very bullish continuing to hold that upside trend um, in the chart no reason to believe that that's uh, ready to change just yet it's been uh, buoyed by uh, big tech out there holding and and continuing to maintain this stock pretty well so, or index pretty well so if we find some bullish action today um, let's look for a push uh, on up here to test some of these uh, recent highs in the spy if the bears find inspiration for today well uh, i'm still going to target this area down here that's really the next uh, reasonable price support in the chart now I did forget to do that on the diamonds but I think you guys know the drill here um, we looked at the bullish side of this if the bears find inspiration maybe a press back down to test that 
uh, level yesterday in the chart and if that were to break we move on down here if we take a look at our QQQ QQQ also very very bullish nothing in this chart that's bearish we do have a little bit of hint that we may have pushed this a little bit too far too fast this may be slipping into a more of a protracted or consolidating pullback here in the NASDAQ so watch that carefully we may get another bite at the apple here with another push higher and if we do let's look for that resistance level up there um, as a area to test and if the bears find inspiration well about the only support level we have is back down here in that chart uh, because we just went too far too fast um, in that move so most overextended index in the market but technically there's nothing wrong here in that chart if we take a look at iwm our iwm continues to remain stuck in the same range that we have been in since uh, mid-march just bouncing around between a high and a low and we're still holding on to this uh, downtrend break here. So uh, maintaining, maintaining that green. And yesterday we also saw that we failed our 50 day moving average, but we tried to rally back up once again. And we have that little bit of a moving average squeeze providing some resistance in that area of IWM. So looking at this chart, if the bulls find inspiration, well, I'm gonna say we press back up here and we try to retest that recent high. And if the bears are continuing to stay inspired, let's look for a retest of this support low. If that were to break, then we're back down here. Uh, but we've just been stuck, um, just spinning around here in IWM for so long. Uh, we're gonna need some kind of inspiration, uh, pretty substantial inspiration to break one of these levels here in the chart. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX continuing to show us that uh, not much fear here. We pulled uh, pulled back a little bit, and then at the end of the day, it ended up uh, rallying just a little bit more. We had a little shot of selling right at the end of the day. And as you can see right here, we're still stuck in this range. So if the uh, bulls find inspiration today, I would look for this um, resistance here to hold, and we start pushing back down toward this level if the bears find inspiration today maybe we break into this next level up here and seek out resistance in that chart um, right up there so watch that close we've just been so range bound so choppy uh, it's been uh, probably for most uh, a very frustrating month i've been using some um, premium collection strategies and right way options so we've been making some money but it honestly hasn't just been one of those bang up months because the market's not really moving if we take a look at our t2122 t2122 continuing to chop around in here but we did uh, yesterday we tested this level right down in here into that um, oversold condition of the market yesterday and then we bounced off of that at the end of the day unable to maintain and as you can see uh, what that means here in t2122 if the bears find inspiration we still have room to move to the downside if the bulls find inspiration well we certainly have room to move to the upside if we can get some kind of spark of life going in here uh, let's take a look at our t2108 t2108 and uh, despite the fact that we rallied back up yesterday and we got the impression by looking at the nasdaq that everything is great but it really isn't uh, when we look here you can see that 32 percent of the stocks ended up closing their day above the 40 day moving average we continue to weaken in here we're down here testing the support levels um, in this chart so let's keep a close eye on that pretty weak here on T2108. It may give us a little bit of a hint that we're a bit oversold and, and a relief rally might be on the way. But other than that, um, since we don't have much for momentum, it's hard to get too excited about that. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 obviously uh, 
declined again yesterday, pulling back 35%, 36% of the stocks, holding above their 200-day moving average. That head and shoulders pattern continues to work in here. We're still holding on to this support area in the chart, so no harm here yet but we'll want to keep a close eye on that if that were to continue to fail i suspect maybe a little relief might be coming in we could bounce back up and you know continue to tighten up this wedge um, in the chart our t2101 which is our market breadth our breadth has come up just a little bit but that's been a lot of that sell side um, activity picking up here that has moved that that breadth but the bears don't seem to have enough uh teeth to uh, hold anything throughout the day so they'll push it down in the morning and then you know give it up and the bulls push it back up in the afternoon so just really no momentum here in the market to speak of we're just winding around in this uncertain zone of the market if we take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar we got a busy one here this morning to deal with first off we're going to get adp numbers well we got the challenger job cut reports that will be out but we've got adp numbers coming in this morning right now um, adp employment numbers are expected to come in at 160,000, which is a fairly substantial decline over a last month um, we have jobless claims coming in this morning as well they are expected to increase just ever so slightly here to about 235,000 by consensus numbers we're looking at productivity and costs then. Productivity and costs are expected to come in flat. It's going to be interesting here. Uh, maybe one of the bigger surprise numbers. Um, it's like the consensus is saying we don't know what's going to happen, so we just put a flat number on it um, and hope for the best. That one might be um, a, a bit of a surprise this morning. We'll see. We've got the PMI manufacturing final numbers this morning. We've got ISM consensus numbers here this morning. They're expected to decline by just one tenth. Now, what we saw yesterday in some of these numbers over here, Chicago PMI, uh, would maybe suggest that, that might miss. So. Uh, watch that closely there's a possibility that that could miss and be uh, a bit more negative than what they're expecting and then construction spending is also um, in the consensus expected to, to decline by one tenth so we're seeing that slowing of our economy the market is trying to ignore it really hard trying to ignore it we get all of these bad data points and we just try to just ignore it and keep pushing forward but um, it's starting to weigh kind of heavy on um, some sectors of the market. Later on today, we've got a Fed speaker, bond auctions, and the Fed balance sheet. And then once we get through that, we're going to be thinking about that employment situation number here Friday morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. We've got a number of uh, notables here today, so I'm going to run through those pretty quickly. Um, um, first off, um, this afternoon, AVGO will be a really interesting to watch um, report. AVGO just went absolutely parabolic when um, Apple revealed that they're working with them on some chipsets. So keep an eye on that. We've got um, CAL reporting today. We're going to hear from um, CVGW today. We've got CHPT reporting. A little bit of a pop up here this morning on that one. COO will be reporting today. Dell will be reporting today. It looks like it's trying to pop up just a little tiny bit. DBI reporting today. We've got Dollar General. Oof, big miss. Um, retail is struggling right now and we're seeing some pretty heavy hits in some of retail. Um, so Dollar General, big, big decline here this morning. 
We're going to hear from five below. It is also declining this morning. Um, we've got Hormel trying to catch a bounce here. Um, this has been such a bearish chart for such a long time. Um, trying to catch a little bit of a bottom might be worth keeping an eye on Hormel. We're going to see um, results from Lulu today. Lulu has obviously pulled back sharply here recently. Be watching that, showing a little bit of bearishness in the pre-market on that. Macy's, Macy's um, beat on top and bottom line this morning, but they slash their outlook um, going forward. They see kind of a rough patch coming ahead. And I think that's kind of what retail is telling us is that recession is is maybe upon us. Um, so watch that closely, Macy's. Uh, pretty ugly here this morning. We've got um, MDB. Um, that we'll be reporting today. We've got S Sentinel. We it looks like gapping lower this morning. We've got VMW reporting today. ZS and ZUMZ would be the notables that I've pulled out for today to pay attention to. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Hey, I wanted to let everyone know that next week will be a little bit different. Hopefully everything will come off as, um, as expected. Believe it or not, I'm going to be moving into a dorm, um, a college dorm on Saturday. I'm taking a, um, a, a, a class um, at the college and um, I'm only there for a week, but I will still be trying to put out the morning market prep videos. Just know that they may sound a little different. I'll be working from a, a very limited system uh, to get those out, but I'll still try to be keeping up with market conditions. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you'll hear, you'll hear from me. Um, it just may not be quite as... Um, well, the sound might be a little bit more echoey or, or strange. Um, let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell in any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Make sure you follow your trading rules. Never, ever just blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, let's take a look at what's going on in the dollar. The dollar continued to shoot up yesterday. And then at the end of the day, we found a little bit of resistance and started pulling it back. And you can see following through a little bit to the downside today. So keep an eye on that. We're also seeing bond yields going up again this morning, which is interesting so we'll want to keep a close eye on that now what we have seen that is really kind of surprising at least in my opinion is we continue to see gold hold in here pretty strongly trying to move up even as the dollar strengthened and if we get the dollar weakening watch this right in here if the dollar does weaken and we pop through that resistance and hold then there may still be some upside here in the gold. I know a lot of folks have been looking at this triple top saying, nah, this is, it's over, this thing's coming down. But there seems to be some uncertainty here in the market and a willingness to hold in this. So watch that closely. Now, if you guys remember, I've talked about rig here recently and was watching rig as it broke through that resistance. Well, things have just fallen all apart in that oil sector here as we're starting to see China weaken substantially. Um, there's that concern of demand destruction here in the market. And um, we're starting to see those oil sector stocks continuing to move lower. Some of the um, exploration stocks continuing to move lower. So I would watch rig here closely now. If we break down through this support in this chart, I want you to notice this is a pretty big hole underneath here if we were to fall into that trap and we continue to fall in these this downtrend here we just couldn't make it through um, and pass on through that so pretty bearish in these charts and if we look at some of the other sectors in here like exxon mobile out there um, 
big old failure here on a lower high making uh, close to making that lower low um, we're seeing lots of these stocks right now showing um, considerable bearishness in the market so be pretty careful on that side of things and I think you have to say that on anything in that commodity sector when um, we see that dollar showing as much strength as it is with it pulling back if it drops significantly we could see these perk back up but uh, I would watch that pretty close let's take a look at a few other areas of the market that well got some bullishness out there um, uh, uh, Twillow, Twillow um, continuing to rip yesterday to the upside very very strong needs some after breaking through this resistance needs some kind of rest or pullback this is very parabolic and if it would rest or pull back could set up a, a nice bullish opportunity in the chart you could also look at ea ea had a good day yesterday pushing up kind of breaking through some of this resistance now clearly we've got some work ahead of us with a lot of resistance above a little bit of a downtrend that we still need to best but it's trying here on ea keep a close eye on that uh, might have that opportunity to push on through. Take a look at NU. NU has been a very bullish chart here recently, just pressing, pressing, pressing. And we had this little resting pullback going on in here. Let's see if that can hold um, it on that trend, hold on this maybe little tiny bit of support in here. See if that has some more upside in it um, soon. It might be worth keeping an eye on. Take a look at Tesla. Um, Tesla has been ripping to the upside here again and pushing hard after breaking that downtrend. Remember, this is one of my favorite patterns of all time, and that's where we break a downtrend, we hold a higher low, and then we're off to the races to the upside. I would watch this carefully in here. We're going to run into some resistance. I would expect a little bit of rest of consolidation coming into play in here on Tesla. And then I would look for that next opportunity in here, somewhere along that trend. If we were to rest out here, if we were to pop through and rest, I'd be looking for that next opportunity there. Take a look at Wayfair. Wayfair made that nice pop out of my alert here popping off the bottom pressing on through so the, here's one of the retail stocks that's holding up uh, better than a lot of the others i'd watch that one closely if this can hold in here set that higher low there may be some opportunities there in wayfair we had mentioned um carvana the other day and carvana popping through and now resting just a little bit resting along that support area in the chart if that has to rest a little bit more out here to, to kind of contact that trend, then I would be looking for that upside opportunity there. And that, that really has to assume that we don't see any more destruction in the consumer out here and, and more worries of recession that could negatively affect um, that market. But watch that closely. Healthcare had a pretty good uh, move yesterday. Um, I've been um, pretty bearish here on UNH, uh, failing at this resistance level here. We kept trying and kept trying and couldn't get through, and we pushed down, made a new low. But a nice pop there yesterday, and we saw um, the healthcare sector trying to pick up. Pfizer had a pretty good move yesterday. Um, Merck um, powering up out of that bottom. Now, I don't think these are ready for prime time. These wouldn't be a buy for me, but... Um, they're trying to come back around and may soon um, turn into more of that buy uh, position in the market. We also saw a little bit of consumer defensive uh, perking up here just a little bit. Um, these have declined hard here recently, trying to pick back up just a little bit here. I uh, saw a few of those yesterday uh, trying to make a move. Whoops get the right symbol trying to make a move off of these substantial pullbacks again they're not ready for a buy signal here as a matter of fact any rally back to resistance could set up a short but watch those close um, how about um, RBLX RBLX a nice move yesterday nice candle uh, popping up through you could look at this as an interesting little cup and handle whoops my tool changed on me there an interesting little cup and handle pattern trying to break through if we can pop through this up here notice we've got a gap that we can fill and then we might be re retesting those upside levels right there so 
keep a close eye on those so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for listening and being here i do truly appreciate it um everyone take care be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning hopefully we can get something going in this market and finally break um, this trading range that we've just been chop chop chopping in for so long take care and i wish you all the best